is Mary here and welcome back to my channel for a different kind of video. I did say in my update video that I will do a telltale kind of game where the characters are speaking and all that kind of stuff. For example, The Walking Dead and Life is Strange and I've just bought Life is Strange. So um, I'm going to play Life is Strange first and then play The Walking Dead afterwards and stuff like that. But I am actually really, really excited about this. I haven't watched anyone on YouTube play this because I just try to avoid it um, as I don't want it to spoil, spoil it for me. But also it looks very interesting. So I was like, okay, why not? I don't know anything about the game. I don't know the characters. I don't know. I don't follow this game. So I don't know what it's meant to be about. But we'll just see and you guys can play along with me. That's why I have the face cam and everything like that. I hope everything is okay, like the recording is not lagging, nothing like that because that would stress me out. I spent ages trying to set this whole thing up and now I finally got it set up and I'm sorry in advance now if the audio is a little bit too loud compared to my voice but I did try lower it down as much as possible. I'm sorry also if it's too low compared to my voice so let's just get started okay. I'm actually really excited so I don't know if I should play with episodes because I just want to play episodes but anyway let's just play episodes so we have the whole five episodes and plus a new season that, that's just come out so we'll play episodes first and then play the new season but yeah I want to get to know what's going on here and hopefully grasp what's going on I'm kind of looking gross right now because I'm tired from work but let's just get to it episode one okay nightmare I'm kind of scared. I don't even know what this thing is going to be. Oh my god. Okay, Live Strange is a story based on the features, player choice, the consequences of all your actions. We impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. <gasps> yeah, I hate I hate this kind of game because it freaks me out and I just, I'm so freaking scared. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh. Fuck. Already, I'm getting shit. I'm getting sh I'm shitting myself. It's not meant to be scary, so I don't understand what this is. <laughs> This is hella loud, you know. This is some mad behavior. Don't be effed up. Okay, girl. I see you all dripping wet and stuff. I like your freckles. Where am I? What's happening? Ooh, pseudo this is too scary. It's like midnight right now. How did I get here? Here. Oh, you went, bro. Wait, Wait. There's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. I hope. Please let me make it there. Why she speaking to herself? At oh, am I control? Oh, hell no. I ain't here for this. Who's behind us? Is it the ghost of Gasper? Gasper or is it Casper? Okay, so am I walking? I hate this. How are you meant to run? If someone jumps out of my face, I'm finished. I get scared too fast. Girl. Girl, where's your hairline at though? Oh, hell no. This is a whole new level of messed up. Nah, you got me effed up. What is that? No, nothing's here. All right, here we go. Oh. How am I meant to run? Like, I don't even know the controls to this game. This is a... Ah! Alright. I guess we made it. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm dead. <laughs> ah! Oh, hell! That was so surreal. Famously called film, little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From this color hot, though, to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. What the fuck am I feel like to totally do? haunted mate, by mate. the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, I can, right? Is, uh, am I? Am I? Uh, am I finished right now? Keep that to yourself. Seriously though, 
I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Girl, your nostrils. And any one of you could do that um, to me. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious. Hold left mouse button and drag what towards look. What if Arvis chose to capture people at the height left. of their beauty or innocence? Okay. Look at this crap. That makes sense. Okay. Thank How you for the How can I show help. this to Mr. Jefferson? What is this? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Is that it? What if Abbas tries to capture people at the height of their beauty and innocence? She had a brilliant eye. So she could have taken another approach. I do love my analog I camera. I'm not a I should take a quick picture one. now. I prefer Robert Frank. Me too, Victoria. He captured the essence of post-war beach. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture like has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. So have you a go at me, bitch. anybody here who knows their stuff? <laughs> Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp You can tell this, style, this girl like is the one that is banging that teacher. you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's I haven't faces. kept up with my journal as much as I should. Popular from the 1800s what onward. The first American daguerreotype self portrait. My little camera bag is battered, but still Phoenix. kicking. All you right. can find out um, all about him in your textbook or even online. Oh. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart the career of photography. So, yeah. Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max. As this girl looks like she has a broomstick in her bum. I was so ready for her to die already. I hope she dies. Oh, let's see who, who who's here. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. You're submitting your photo for the competition. Huh? This might make a cool shot. Turning in a photo, so you see the dilemma. I know, Mr. Jefferson. I just worked so hard in the shop, and I'm sure you know what it's like to be consumed. Look at this! Look at the heifer in the back. Everyday Heroes is an important cultural event, and I want to represent Blackwell Academy. You have just by participating, by putting yourself out there in the world. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. On a bigger road. I don't want to speak to you. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson. Can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. I'm dead. You have the fever to take images. To frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what like separates the artist from the amateur. Mr. Jefferson, Mr. Jefferson, Mr. Jefferson, baby. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Oh yeah, because you like him. Who? Wow, this guy is pretty. Oh my god. Let's go talk to that girl. I don't know who she is and why she's just sitting there. Here we go. Let's see what this is. I wanna. Now I wish I wouldn't have DK, heard this. we love your porn Purge. Video. Ugh. That's disgusting. Oh, poor Kate. What the hell? 
Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. Ah. You seem quiet. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. I hear that. Wanna go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. I wanna... I feel like... Let's talk later, Max. Oh, alright. Bitch. <laughs> that printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I could pump out a whole gallery show with it. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Who is that? Obviously, Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Okay, what's uh, oh, what a poster? Let's see this. I love seeing Mr. Jefferson's awesome photos on these magazine covers. Mm, okay, I'm meant to like remember something because I'm just wasting my time here. Okay, what's what's around here? There should be like some clues and stuff. Okay, there's a photo here. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing Oh, us. so he's swearing this game. That means I can swear the fuck how, how much the fuck I want. All right. All right. Um, let's look at this. Of time. course. Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most ex I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Wow. Five thousand dollars, <laughs> girl. Bye. I don't have that kind of funding, you know. Even her school books are gift wrapped. Ugh. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she? F Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock. God, I'm. Anything else in the walls that I need to be knowing about? I'm gonna suck at this game because I'm so sucking cool with this to mask see control. Mr. Jefferson's actual published pictures. Okay. It gives me hope. All right. Uh, photo equipment. This is definitely where cameras go to heaven. Oh man, they have those sweet ultrasonic lenses. Oh, I and thought look at that vintage rangefinder. Dude, that is next to his bum. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for this a class This girl monitor. seems like hella in love Can't with this Mr. Jefferson guy, and I'm not surprised because. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't Dead know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. Okay, we meant to remember what these things are. I don't think I highly doubt I will. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. Ooh. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Ooh, okay. All right. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital images. But I still dig my little instant camera. Well, I'm gonna go out because it's, I've looked at everything in this room, so. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. I'm not paying on you. Always Welcome to the real world. Just cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special <laughs> picture. Characters here are so realistic, I love it. So I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. All right. She's so fucking shy. Take selfies with the friends. Is this it? She got enough of it just to sit to sit here. All right. Let's crack. To all of you, American girls, it's sad to I think that's Courtney. She's such a slave to Taylor and Victoria. Uh, I'm dead. She out here cussing everyone out. Girls, I'd like to be part of the world. Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are good. Alyssa is always texting, but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. I want to see who this Taylor is. Ooh, missing person. 
These missing persons posters are popping up everywhere. Oh god. Rachel Ambo. Tattoo on calf of a dragon and a star and it's a left wrist, okay. Damn. To all of you, I shouldn't be so stingy with my blood. No one can tell where your heart is. There's Taylor, always waiting for Victoria. These two are smiles and plastic no? Okay. Alright, so let's see. Ah, the science room. Here's the portal to Warren's brain. Okay. Oh, it's a locker. Is it, is it ours? Yeah, it's our locker. I love that picture of mom and dad. Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous, as usual. This poster must stop bullies dead in their tracks. Okay, guessing this there's no room. Who's Stella? Stella is always deep in her notes. She didn't come to Blackwell to mess around. That's Dana talking to I think his name is Justin. Dana is on my floor too. She's such an archetypal gorgeous cheerleader. They must make them in a factory. Brooke seems chill. I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. What the hell's Warren? Warren's probably that guy over there. I can't remember names nowadays. I hate people like this. I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. What's a Vortex? Poor Daniel. He's so nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. Why don't you, baby girl? It looks like she's been gone for months. Wow. Damn, man. I wish October would last forever. I guess if she likes the Halloween kind of stuff. Okay, let's see what we can get from the vending machine. Oh, just look. They should just call it a sugar machine. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar drops. Do I have to burn? What's this? That's so messed up. I should contact them to find out what I can do. As if I am. Don't need a PC, missed the poetry jam tryouts, and I did not steal that backpack. American girls, I'd like to be part of the world. Good thing I left my AK at home. Hmm. All right. So I don't know what I'm meant to do. Who's Hayden? There's Hayden, another Vortex Club bro, but he's actually not an ass. Oh, I can hardly wait to never be too cool like Nathan and Victoria. Lame. It looks like she's been gone for months. Okay. Um, I'm sorry, guys, that this is a bit boring. I don't. Okay, we went to go to the bathroom, ain't we? All right, so let's go to the bathroom then. That's where we went to go. I keep, um, I completely forgot. So this is just too much. I can't. Nobody can see my meltdown except for me. Oh, all right, baby girl. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. Oh! Oh. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, okay girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day.
Why is that boy in here? It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just come to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> you're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my stepass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Oh. Whoa. What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. These pieces of time can frame us I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color to now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, Shit. can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer I cannot who believe this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Can I actually reverse time? Why Arvis? Because of her images of hopeless faces. I meant to hold all the way, I don't even know. I did now, it. <gasps> can you I actually me did it. A photographer who perfectly I'm captured the human time machine. Black and white. Jeez, all right. I love that Anybody? gift. Damn. Max, don't yeah. freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her Keep it together, Max. You feel like totally haunted by the my eyes of pencil case is still a... When I took my selfie, Jefferson you asked me a question. Tortured, right? If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark shh. -sh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie, a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not of dreaming course, this. As you all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Uh -huh. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl so isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point Can I save that her? The portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us? I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me after Melissa class. And I need time to save that girl. Types? A process to give portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. How do you go back to time again? Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind the again process, and give him the right answer? Fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American to Gary Oh. Damn, I missed something. I better rewind. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest... I'm sorry. I feel sick. May I be excused? Nice try, Max. But you're not gonna get away then. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants me to... Victoria. The 
Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the company. The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Oh, nice work, Max. <sighs> the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Still Max, the same still stupid picture. Oh. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday I'm Heroes try contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do Nice that. answer, Max. Are you, you okay? You look pale. Kate, um, did we talk at all today? This is the first time. What's wrong? I'm sorry, I'm just dripping. Too much stress. I know the feeling. I just really think everyday heroes is an important cultural event. I wish we didn't. I do have to go, but we can talk later if you want. I'll see how I feel. Thanks, Max. No matter who wins, this is just a bump on a bigger road. I wanna, I wanna look at this bull. excluded from this process. What are you waiting for? Go. Know that this photographic world is not for everybody. What are you waiting for? Go. Oh. Everybody what should I go for? I only want to share whatever. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson. Can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure I have one. Given your selfie output, I'm sure you must have about a thousand pics by now. It'll take a long time to find a good one. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Just don't tell the ugly undo your favorite last thing you didn't rewind. Share whatever gifts I have with the world. Okay, I'm just gonna go. Because this is just long. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. Frick's sake. I'd never let one of photography's future stuff. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers. Good. Oh, I hope we're gonna get Make to sure you bed finish soon. working on it by today. I have faith in you. Oh yeah. Call me names. All right, let's go. And see what's Gucci in the bathroom because we need. I that hope too. I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please, I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Yo, Daniel, you don't tease me. You know I don't tease. I hate that science class with those nerds. Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in, and I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Where did you get that? What are you doing? Don't Come on, put that thing down! Tell me what to do! Wow, sir, it's happening sick. again. I need a hammer to break it open! Me. To get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh. Holy shit, I can't let this happen. But how do you if rewind? I can reverse time again, I can help her. Max, rewind now! Drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Damn! Oh. I suck at this. 
and drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? No way. Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day. That that right? That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone, and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. <laughs> Wrecked right in the office. <laughs> You meant to go outside then? You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. Yeah. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott? You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. And? So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then, then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the press got... Don't wander around here. Get on outside. Hmm. I don't think I should have told him. Let me go back. I don't think you I should have told him. Stressed out. Are you okay? I'm. I'm. I think I'm gonna hide the truth and blackmail Nathan. I just got sick in class. Um, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's just class. Just tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that team toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents will approve when they find oh, out. Oh, hell no! Now get outside with the class. Please. No, he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. Yes, he could rewind and actually tell him the truth. You I want to tell him the truth. Screw it. Because clearly this guy is just... Oh my god. Oh my god. I just saw Nathan press... Yes, I don't care if I have consequences. There's a butterfly effect. I get it. <laughs> but I'm ready. My body's born ready. This better be worth it, guys. 
It looks so lit. <laughs> I look so pretty, oh my god. Love it, living for it. Would Nathan Prescott please come to the front office? Ah! Rachel Amber. She looks so hopeful and pretty. I wonder what happened to her. Hi, Miss Grant. Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition, but would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? Sure, I always have time for you. What's the petition? David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. I guess cameras could have helped Rachel. I can see both sides. You're fair-minded, Max. And we all pray Rachel is found safe and sound, bless her soul. But this petition isn't about her. Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage, from the Native Americans who founded this land to the pioneers who shared it in peace, not fear and violence. You know a lot about Blackwell for being a science teacher. Science is history, Max. And I have a secret wish to teach local lore and legends. There's a lot of unique facts about this you might really enjoy discovering. I really now, before this I assign you homework with this lecture, will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? Is that a drone? Absolutely. I don't mind security, but not pure surveillance. I knew you were my favorite new student at Blackwell for a good reason. <laughs> we have consequences. All right. Okay, who else is here? What's this? What? What just happened? Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. Mr. Jefferson has such a gift for different styles. This day has been so insane. Oh, it's a squirrel. Let's chase the squirrel. Okay, the dorms are that way. Random people. Um, it's Hayden. Alright, so dorms are this way, so let's just go ahead. This looks cool. That's one of his famous shots. I love how it captures the moment. So these are the dorms? Who's that? Evan's portfolio always looks so uber pro. Evan's portfolio always looks so uber pro. I'd love to see his photos in there. Hey, Evan. Mind if I check out your cool portfolio? Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. Huh? You'll have to answer a simple question. Who photographed the famous fallen soldier? Isn't it Robert Dorno? Oh my. You can't even tell the difference between street photography and photojournalism. No portfolio peak for you. Hey, Evan. Again. <laughs> Mind if I. Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. Oh my god. Let's do Eugene Smith. Gotta be Eugene Smith. Well, they both were famous war photographer images, but you should know the difference. 
Good try. Wrong answer. This is so cool. Hey, Evan. Let's see if. So now. Robert Papa, of course. I love his work, despite the controversy about that photo. My, my. This quiet child knows things. That's why I'm here. You're a kindred spirit, I'm Max. <laughs> Would you care for a perusal of my portfolio? Perusal. It's not a privilege I grant to many. I'd be honored, sir. These photos are great. And Rachel Amber's face is mesmerizing. Hi, Evan. As you can see, Rachel Amber was my favorite model here. She knew exactly what angles worked best with my eye. You were close. Like brother and sister in arms, she understood me, never judged me. I hated her vortex club click, but she never acted like she cared. Her friends were her friends. What do you think happened to her? Nothing good, Max. Nothing good. Wow. All right. Well, um... I need to go there and grab Warren's flash drive. All right. Damn. So we learned a lot. On, Rachel was close bro. to Evan. And he yeah. believes nothing good happened to her. And she was with the Vortex. Interesting. Very interesting. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. The Prescott dormitory? Good lord, Nathan's family owns my dorm? Mm. Is this a is this a dorm? No, I I don't think so. Who says? What is that? Glad to see our campus is eco-friendly. Yeah. Oh, hi, Max. What are you reading? Love today or die forever. Don't even say anything. It's a bestseller. What to say? Good point. Now if you'll excuse me. Oh, all right. Oh shit. There's Victoria and her mean girls. Oh look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. Yeah. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. Sweet. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Ugh, look like Taylor Swift, goodbye. Since no you know all, all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh wait, hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh <laughs> yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. That's the first and last time I expect to hear that. I wanna put the... I could crank the sprinkler up and give Victoria and her clones incentive to beat it. Hmm. Who the hell is this? There goes Samuel Da Vinci to paint the window. Oh, well, I'm supposed to do something with a paint. Okay, now where exactly is the sprinkler valve? Oh. Okay, now where exactly is the sprinkler valve? No. 
Keep walking, hippie. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. Oh. I need to figure this out. <gasps> what the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah. Water on my cashmere? Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Nice, bro. Kate, do you understand English? Oh, Get lost. Dude. Hmm. It's not meant to do here, but I think it's to do with this guy. Cause I don't get it. Okay, let's see if this works. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I Hi, just Samuel. want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. What the hell? Nice, bro. Okay. See this looks lit. No way! No fucking you okay, way! Okay, Victoria. Oh, Sammy, no. sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair. Nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo! Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass Ooh. before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. All right, then. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was. <laughs> but there'll be another. Well, you Bitch. always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. Awesome. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. I hope those sluts get me a towel yeah. before they hang a sign on me. You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and... and the go-fuck-your-selfie. Yeah. That was mean, but pretty funny. One of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Au revoir. Okay. So you can be friends. Victoria probably played me. Alright. Scooby Dooby Doo. Room 217. No way in hell am I ever going in here. What's that? Victoria is going to be pissed we Is this a Vortex Club or a Victoria Club initiation? Truly pathetic. 
Go Miss Grant. Not sure if I will, though. I'm a loser. Blackwell isn't that big, but it sure feels like a labyrinth. Welcome to Black Hill. Okay. Dane is still a cheerleader at heart. Nice atmospheric shot. Needs dusting. Looks like nobody won this TP war. There's nothing left but ghosts. At least that's an alarm from this century. Can I about some moment to look at? Okay, this is just mean and stupid. Oh, Victoria, give me a fucking break. How sad. I didn't write anything. I have nothing to say. Obvious, but true. <laughs> okay. Warren should be all over Brooke. They're perfect for each other. Her room is cute. Home sweet home. My favorite cocoon. So you went there for a flash drive. Where's a flash drive? Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. So I can watch some flicks while I study, so if you need it, but just track me down in my room. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Oh, crap. Her mum knows. Oh, damn. Philip Lorca de Corsha, my man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. Girl. Okay, so we went to go to Dina's room. Um, this plant looks hella dead. You need to order this plant ASAP Rocky. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. What do you mean we have consequences? I'm feeding a plant. Like, okay, boy. If I'm not looking through a viewfinder, I'm looking through a window. Always looking. Hard to believe I'm 18 now. I'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. All right, let's 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 go ahead and leave and let's go to Dana's room. I don't know who Dana is or where she is. Oh. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Let me out, Julia. This is Hey, Juliet, is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. You are ridiculous. What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Uh... Juliet Pats. Juliet Patson. That was truly sad. Thanks for your concern, Max Caulfield. By the way, Juliet Watson. Hey, Juliet. Oh, yes, Max. I've watched. 
Juliet Watson, you be nice. I'm flattered. You are I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Uh, of course I do. Thanks. I locked Dana in because she was sexting Zach, my boyfriend. Unbelievable. If you don't let me out, I will scream. How do you know? Victoria Chase. You know her. You could say that. But why would Dana go after your boyfriend? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything. But I bet Victoria did. I Leave me alone, Max. Get a clue. Dana's still a cheerleader at heart. Hmm. Juliet, extreme reporter. So that means that Victoria's one making up lies, really. No need to go there now. All right, um, let's get to Victoria. I don't, I don't even know if she's even in there. At least she puts her photographs out there. Unlike me. Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? What Maybe I will join her posse. I'll give Victoria props for not post- Boom! This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Oh. I hear someone coming, oh my god. Victoria hates Rachel Amber this much? Mm -mm. How insecure. Where's the printer? This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. What's this? I bet Victoria put Juliet on her shit list after this article. Ugh. Juliet, read this. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. <laughs> You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. <laughs> Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. I'm dead. This is both sad and pathetic. Is that a flash drive or pregnancy test? Oh, uh, Max, that's mine. Thank you. <gasps> You're not helpful. You're just nosy. I think you better go. <gasps> She's pregnant. Nice, Max. You hurt her feelings by being so damn nosy again. But I could rewind and make it up to her. <gasps> Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. I better make sure everything is still in there. I think Warren forgot to hide the party buster folder. No. Of course a popular cheerleader like Dana would have a million friends. 
It's so fascinating to get a peek into Dana's social media world. And, yep, la la la, I don't see that pregnancy test. It would be a cool sticker without the words. Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. Hmm. I think I should go ahead of a room about you. Dana, I'm not trying to be nosy, but I heard a rumor about you. What? Who told you I was pregnant? Nobody important. They just acted like it was bullshit. I just wanted you to know. It's like a goddamn reality show around here. Can you keep a secret, Max? Of course. I was pregnant. Was. Oh. Mm -hmm. What about the other? That beat dad? You can catch him on the 40 yard line this Friday. And it's not Zachary. Sorry to pry. It's not my business. And I won't be at the game Friday. Not much school spirit, I guess. I like your spirit, Max. Anyway, you better get that flash drive so Warren has an excuse to bug you. Let's go back a little bit. So I want to find out who it is. Hey, Dana. Seriously. Dana. What? Nobody. It's like a god. Of course. I. Oh. That'd be bad. You can catch him on. Who then? And you don't have to tell me. In fact, you better not. I like your spirit, Max. Anyway, you better get that flash drive so Warren has an excuse to bug you. All right. Um. Good lord. Dana really was on her own. Wow, that's so sad. Anything else to try to figure out? Um... Oh, uh, Max, that's mine. Thank you. You're not helpful. Nice, Max. You hurt her feelings by being so damn nosy again. But I could rewind and make it up to her. Yeah, I'm not gonna go touch that. I'm gonna see what this clinic note is. I assume Dana kept the appointment. That's so sad. I can't even imagine what life would be like being a cheerleader. Dana takes her Blackwell spirit seriously. Alright, anything else? No, nothing else? Hey, we look kind of hot still. Alright, let's go. I don't know where we're meant to be going. Okay. Who the hell is Warren? That's what I want to know. So where's that we meant to go? Is Victoria still there? Damn, that's a lot of pain. Fuck this shit. Oh! Ow! That hurt. Damn, I better rewind. Fuck this shit. Get lost, Ow. hipster. That I'm not hurt. doing any interviews. Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. So I have to go try to speak to her. Shit. Ow. Oh, poor girl. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. Max, that was awesome. Thank you. 
No problem. You have quick reflexes. Years of mad dodging skills. Bullies never change. That's why you're better off. You're smart. We should hang out more. Now I have to finish this stupid book. Ah, oh, she's lovely. I like her. Um, what's this text from Victoria? By the way, we're we're not friends. All right, I don't care. Victoria, all right. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. You can't fool me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you better figure out what side you're on. Please, leave me alone. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for nothing, Max. Ugh. We have to intervene now. Man, All I right. should have stepped Let's in between go. Kate and David. That asshole was so over the line. I wonder if you go back so far you can actually hurt someone. Oh. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Oh. Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. This girl's a weirdo. This guy, sorry. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. I'm trying to be a good girl while I'm here, all right? I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but now Officer David Dickhead is after me. Mm-hmm. I'm glad I stepped in that time. Can't stand to see people being bullied. I wonder how long before Samuel will have to repaint that. I don't get it. How could Zach and Victoria do that to me? Hi, Juliet. How are you doing? Oh, hey, Max. Sorry, I'm still screwed up. Sorry you had to find out about Zachary that way. Or anyway better sooner than later. Now that skank Victoria won't be laughing behind my back anymore. Have you talked to Zach yet? Mr. Badass Football Hero is such a chicken shit. He said he sexted Victoria as a joke. Ha ha. I think Warren wants your attention. He usually does. Hang in there, Juliet. See you around, Max. Who the hell is Warren? Okay, there's baby boy Warren. At least Rachel Amber has people who care about her. Yeah, unlike Victoria, the Wicked Witch of the West. Okay. Max, get your ass over here. Hey, Warren. And there's Warren. Did he actually buy a you? What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. He clearly wants your Check pony. Check wheels. Cool. Very old Bless school. Bless his poor little soul. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? 
It's been one strange fucking day. Hmm? I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. Really? I wish I would have known. You probably could have raised a Kickstarter fund just for that one image of her covered in paint. Had I known that. Anyway, Victoria took down my photo, so that drama ended well. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? No, I've been way too busy with class and life. Damn, girl, you had it like a year. Or a week. I did browse through all the titles, Drama Queen. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. Seen it. I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there. Can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too? So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. Mm. No, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white. Plus, babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. I need to talk to somebody, just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Dad. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? <gasps> oh, dear. One of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal now. Answer me, bitch. What are you talking about? I know you're new here, but don't even play stupid with me. I'm not new. I've lived here for years. Then you should know the Prescotts own this shithole. Then you don't have to worry about me. Worry about yourself. Do not analyze me. I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh, man. You're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude. Hey, leave him alone. Nobody tells me what to do. Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore right in the bathroom. <sighs> Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Go, go, oh, oh, I got this. Get in, Max. Get your punk asses out of there now. Don't even try to run. Nobody. 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 Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? I guess. It was cool, but I felt kind of lonely, out of my league. Oh, hello. I would think you'd fit right in with the art school hipsters. Right. You look like the cover of hipstergirl.com. Mm. At least you're still a smartass. That's why I'm here. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy.
Only for Mark Jefferson. He was a pretty famous photographer in the 90s. I've always loved his work. Those that can't do, teach. I'm glad you found a good reason to come back. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. I wanted to. I was just so tripped out over leaving Arcadia. Oh, please. I'm sure your phone and laptop were frozen in time. You're merciless. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliché geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. Oh. Doesn't that have feelings? I don't know. Broken? Oh, man, are you serial? Wow, haven't heard that one in a while. Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it at my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Bird alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. <coughs> Welcome home, Max. That's cute still. All right, guys. So I think I'm gonna end it here. Um, my stomach is rumbling. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but that's actually been such a cool first episode so far. I'm sorry if it's really long, but I actually really, really like this game, and I can't wait to see how it goes. But I feel like I messed up a little bit with the Warren and Nathan thing, but we will see how that affects in the future. But clearly, Max and Chloe know each other from somewhere and I think that's because of the new season that's come out it's like a backtrack but yeah I'm really excited to see how this goes so yeah thank you guys for watching if you like the video give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new around here it does mean a lot and I will see you all in my next video thanks for watching bye